my highest goal is to win a gold at the Olympics. If you don't win, there's no excuses. It's kind of like the journey that I think, at the end of the day, we all want to take at one point in our life. The experience doesn't come down to whether or not you succeeded, but the fact that you went for it. Well, definitely stress is relationships. I would, I would say that's for sure. I mean, um, one of my friends growing up, for example, um, never really understood speed skating or why I did it. He has a very sh straightforward kind of American mentality on, on sport. And that's, you know, you, you do it to go to get a college scholarship. You do it to make money, be famous. You know, you get girls, whatever it is. It's those, those are the four reasons that people look at. And that's the interesting thing about speed skating is um, none of those four really exist. Some coaches would say, well, you have a chance, top six, you know, your medal potential, your gold medal potential. He has the capability. And, 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 and you know, some people just, because of the nature of who they are or their competitiveness or their abilities, you would say, you know, their metal potential, but yeah, that gold is probably elusive. Um, no, he's gold metal potential. Skating with Nancy's definitely given me a different perspective on the sport than I think I would have gotten any other way because she's an individual coach and independent of the national team. And, you know, because of her, I've stayed in Milwaukee. I'm one of the only skaters on the World Cup circuit right now that, that has never trained out in Salt Lake City full time. It's taught me a lot about, you know, what needs to get done without going through the system, shall I say. Whatever the system may be, if it's, you know, um, school or, you know, however most people do it, there's always another way, I guess, is, is kind of what it taught me. He knows that if you talk to me and going to ask me a simple question, I will dissect it and I will give you every tangent and variable possible to the question that you asked me. It's true. At the Salt Lake City World Cup, I skated a time of 142.16 in the 1500, which the world record's a 141.0, so it's a little ways off, but the only person to ever go under 142 is Shawnee Davis. And I think there's, besides Shawnee, um, you only have two other people that have ever gone faster than that, what I did in that race. And that would be Chad Hedrick, who won five medals, five Olympic medals in, um, throughout his career, and um, Denny Morrison. And at the time when Denny skated that race, he set the world record. So um, it was a pretty fast time and I was, yeah, I was pretty happy with those results. Competing on the World Cup circuit and the kind of the self-satisfaction of trying to be the best in the world at, at a sport is, you know, it, it, it has its hard moments, but you know, it pays off. Giving up is not an option. And, you know, it's, it's not really an option for me until I'm done with this. I'm done with what I tried to come here for, and that's going to this next Olympics and trying to win a gold medal.